St. Paul, the capital of Minnesota and home to more than 100,000 Minnesotans. I have traveled here on a rainy Saturday in March to follow my neighborhood collaborator, Diane Dodge. Traveling by bus and walking a mile through the streets beneath the towering buildings, I arrive at my final destination, the Metropolitan State University. Located on top of a hill west of downtown St. Paul, MSU hosts the Twin Cities Area Spring Resource Fair, which Diane volunteered to work. The Spring Resource Fair is a convention for the development of community gardens and the general advancement of organic local foods and ecological preservation. People bustle about different kiosks, learning from different businesses and organizations that have come to educate on an assortment of topics, from wetland preservation to local food banks. Here is Diane, busy at work mingling with all the visitors. It is here that she is in her element. She works heavily with local gardens and serves on the St. Paul Ramsey County Food and Nutrition Commission. Today, she is so busy that I only have a few moments to chat with her, and we don't have time to film her directly. There are over a dozen different stands and kiosks in the small congregation. There are stands from proper beekeeping, to gardening and volunteering with the elderly, to organizations that put on events and activities for planting, fitness, and cultural events, to education on the current FDA regulations and laws, and support for healthy non-processed foods, where you can take a quiz to understand your current FDA knowledge, to know the different organizations in the community, and sign up to participate in a workshop that is offered to a master plan for Great Lower Town, located in St. Paul, to guide future developments of the physical environment. In an auditorium, two keynote speakers present to the audience the need for a healthier food system and environment. The keynote speakers are LaDonna Redmond and the Institute for Agriculture and Trade Policy. The Institute is discussing current policies and then we'll be taking a Q&A. Even amongst all of this commotion, Tamara, a volunteer, relaxes for a while with her knitting. Here is the St. Paul Ramsey County Food and Nutrition Commission's display. This is the commission Diane serves on. It displays the different available community volunteering, the reason to eat healthy organic food, and general knowledge of what the commission does. A friend of mine has come along as well to see the resource fair. She works with Hamlin's Emperor organization and is passionate about a conscientious population who protects the environment and supports healthy eating. Here she has found some information on how to begin community gardens. She then eagerly signs up to be on a mailing list for more information. This is Marita. She's with an organization that works to advance healthier food standards for the FDA. Here, she discusses how through a master's thesis at Augsburg, she became aware of the food economy. She learned of the industrial agriculture, which cripples the small farmers, and how the two interact in the market. Marita believes that the industrialist agriculture we currently have hurts the consumer, not just with their product, but because the consumer is ignorant of exactly how the system works. She has now created a workshop for people to understand how the food system currently works and compare it to the one they actually want. Interestingly, when I asked if I could film her, she seemed thrilled. But I noticed that as she began to talk while being filmed, her generally large hand gestures and vibrant personality became much more controlled and professional. It is time to say goodbye to Diane, who is still conversing with others. This is what she loves. It is her passion to create a healthier world and share it with others.